morning, I thought I'd sit by our campfire. It's so nice to have camp with us all summer. And I thought we'd play a little bit of a word game. So sometimes there are words where if you rearrange the letters, they spell a different word that has a similar meaning, or sometimes even gives us the definition of that word. It's kind of a cool trick. So I've brought some for us to play today. So this is our first one here. The word is listen. And when you move the letters around, it spells a different word. Any ideas? Silent. Silent. Gosh. Well done. <laughs> That's kind of cool, hey? So we know that in order to listen well, you often have to be silent. Here's another kind of cool one. Maybe some of you have uh, young people who are away at university, living in dormitories. The word is dormitory. And when you move the letters around, we get a word that often describes a dormitory. Messy, very close. <laughs> Dirty room. Dirty room. Dirty room. It's a pretty good one. Oh, I love this one. Okay. Astronomer. So think about what it is that astronomers look at. Okay, close. What else? What else is in the sky? at night time. Moons? I think I heard it. We have a moon stare. Moon stare. Okay, this is the final one. This is one of my favorites. Heart. So you rearrange the letters that you get Earth. So, more, more. <laughs> I know, right? We could go all day. <laughs> uh, a lot of the stories that Jesus tells in the Bible are kind of like word games, word scrambles. He often gives us a story, and we have to rearrange it or think about it from different angles to understand its meaning. So that's what we're going to do today with a very well-known story of the Good Samaritan coming to a pulpit near you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen.